Welcome back. And in this lesson, we are going to show you another tool called Extrude Along Normals. But before I, we dive into that, I want to show you kind of what would happen if we wanted to make a rim around this extrude here with the one we just made. So just shift click on these three that are going around, not the bottom one, but just these three. And I want you to click on this little plus and notice it extrudes, but it extrudes everything upwards and it kind of makes some new geometry over here, which is kind of nasty. So let's just undo that. Maybe you have to do it twice. So now I'm going to introduce you the new tool. So click and hold over the extrude tools and click the third one here that says, or it could be your second, extrude along normals. So we're just going to extrude three times, just like we did before. So we'll do one and it feels like it's inverted. And then we can click and click. It's kind of pushing inward for that one. So just click and push in and make three little extrusions. And now if we select these three, just clicking and hold shift. Now, if we click on this little yellow uh, pin right here and push up, notice we make a really cool rim that goes all the way around. And that's because it is extruding along the normals. The normals are just these faces here. So it's kind of pushing it out like making um, an edge or a corner. So if you need that effect, you can use this tool. Uh, you can also use it here. Say if we maybe pulled it out just a little bit, just a tiny bit, and then scaled it in just with the S and then scaled it down. We can also do the same thing here. Maybe click and shift click on these two and we'll pull these out like that. Maybe we want to click on these two. So go ahead and click on the other two and we're going to push those in. And so that's just, you know, just kind of a different look. But notice here, our bevel is looking a little crunched right there. It's getting very, very pointy, kind of getting kind of nasty right there, right in here. And it's a very thin line, a very thin edge right there. So another thing you can do is go into this little drop down here and say individual origins. So we're using the extrude along the normals and we're going to be uh, scaling for individual origins. So make sure you've got that turned on. And now we can just hit S and scale those in as well. And that'll kind of soften that edge a little bit and looks a little nicer. And feel free to, you know, click on any of these that you want um, or just follow along um, and just, you know, kind of get used to making rims or selecting multiple faces and extruding along the normals. So that is a way to make, you know, interesting shapes um, by selecting multiple uh, faces at one time, or if you need to make kind of rims or scale things out all together at, uh, at once. It's a very, very useful tool. So that's all for the extrude along normals tool. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the next video and keep on extruding this cube.